All right, we'll get started here. Uh, thanks for uh, attending this morning. Uh, my name is not Bobby Maxwell. I'm Ken Roslin, and uh, I'm filling in for Bobby. Uh, but we're going to talk about remote I.O. modernization solutions. Uh, at the very end of it, we'll talk about some other modernization migration solutions. You may have heard the word migration several times, and uh, Rockwell now is uh, changing that word to modernization. It's got a little more ring to it, like I'm getting some new stuff and it does better stuff. And it's true. So let's, uh, let's talk about that. So, um, you know, we're going to cover uh, why, are, why is upgrading important? What are those migration options that you have that you may not be aware of? Some of the challenges that are out there and things that you run through in your facilities when you need to migrate and update. There's some, some issues you run into. It's not just that simple. Otherwise, everyone would have already done it. Um, some of the ProSoft solutions that are available that are out there, some unique solutions. And then we'll go over some uh, examples so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, this will be a relatively short presentation. After the presentation, I'll be available to go into detail. If you have some detailed questions, we can go over. So, with that, why upgrade? Well, preventative maintenance, right? You want to increase your productivity. You know, you have this old remote I.O. system out there running on a slick or on a PLC-5, been running for years and years and years, but you, you need to know that on preventative maintenance, sooner or later, that hardware is going to die. You're going to get a big voltage surge through. I mean, this stuff is ultra-reliable. It's been running for 20, 30 years, but sooner or later, something's going to happen to it, and if you don't have a spare, what do you do? Um, also, when you upgrade, you're able to increase your productivity, so that's pretty good. You can do that. And next, you need to get replacements because, again, when those spares are hard to find, you know, it's getting to the point where you can't even go on uh, eBay trying to go find a spare for your product. So, with that, you know, so what are my options? Well, a lot of people have done this. They've done nothing. Hey, it still works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, yeah, but someday it'll be a panic when it finally does an event happens. Next. Okay, well, I'm going to rip and replace it, change the whole thing out. Well, you better have a whole lot of time available for that, because if you don't, you know, good luck. You're going to be down for a while when you have to pull all those wires out and reprogram the unit, get the new unit up and online. There's some people that said, I want to do that and I have the time. Others saying, I don't have that time. And then uh, lastly, there's doing the phase migration, which is what we're going to talk about here. What if I could actually change out my old control system to a new control system one piece at a time in very short downtime intervals, right? Make it more manageable. So all that is designed to manage your risk, right? There's high risk. If you're sitting there ripping out a whole control system, put in the new one, it comes Monday morning, the, that plant manager wants that system online and you're still right, you know, debugging the code. Something didn't go well when you transferred it or some wires did get crossed in there when you're rewiring the IO racks. That's all risk. This system helps you minimize that risk. So where do you start? What can I do? Well, and you know, and when can I do it? So we're going to talk about these things and give you some, hopefully give you some options you may not have known about before. So the Remote I.O., Data Highway Plus, were introduced over 30 plus years ago. Uh, I used to be with Rockwell Automation in engineering and worked on that Remote I.O. design. So it's kind of interesting that uh, here I am all these years later and helping that old remote I.O. product and Data Highway Plus product move forward. But uh, I was actually a design engineer with Rockwell and, uh, and worked on these, uh, that remote I.O. network. So I could tell you more details than you'd probably want to know about how the circuit works. But all those old products that connect on remote I.O., right, you can't get those anymore. You want to move to the new products. Boom. Well, what is every, all the new stuff sitting on? It's all sitting on Ethernet, Ethernet IP. Well, that's great, but how do I get there? So with that, we have, we have an Ethernet IP to Remote I.O. or Data Highway Plus gateway. So this is the product we came out. It supports your SLC or PLC5 systems that use Remote I.O. out there. And one of the big differentiators is you don't have to modify your PLC code. So when you're upgrading some of these components out there, one of the biggest things you don't want to do is, hey, that PLC has been running for 20 years. I don't want to touch the code. I may not even know where the PLC code is. Well, how about if I could change my drive or change my panel viewer, change out a flex IO rail and not have to touch the PLC? Minimizes risk. So upgrading up to eight panel view remote IO. So here we are with our product out there. You got an old panel view sitting out there on the remote IO network. 
All the new PanelView Plus terminals, the Plus 6s, the Plus 7s, they don't offer a remote I.O. solution for that. Well, how do I, you know, we know the screens wear out. I've been in facilities where those touch screens are being, you know, buttons hit with a screwdriver and poking holes through the screen and they just keep moving the start button around to another pad that still works. Sooner or later, you got to replace those panel views. Now you can move to a brand new panel view plus uh, terminal on Ethernet IP, but yet we'll do the conversions in our gateway so that from the PLC's perspective, whether it's Data Howey Plus or Remote I.O., you keep working. So now you've got your panel views, your operator terminals all upgraded, but your PLC 5, everything else is still out there and running. Next time you get out there, you said, okay, next scheduled downtime, I've got a few drives out there, right? You got all 1336, 1336 plus, all these old drives sitting on remote I.O. Well, you know, you power cycle a drive too many times, that drive's going to eventually fail, or you get a big voltage surge through, it's going to eventually fail. You don't have spares, what do you do? Again, with our gateway there, you can now move to the new PowerFlex family, the entire family, on Ethernet IP and be able to upgrade those drives one at a time using one of our gateways out there. So now I can update, you know, on a scheduled downtime, take out the old drive, put in the new drive, get it on Ethernet IP, and then get it back on and running. And again, without changing the PLC5. In those drives, the old drives are all 16-bit registers and the new ones are all 32-bit registers. Typically, you'd have to go in the PLC and reprogram it. Our module handles that so you don't have to worry about it. Trying to minimize that risk and the impact to your system. So then the uh, 1771 uh, or 1794 FlexIO ASB adapter, those are no longer available. You can't find those anymore. We've had people come up to us saying, hey, what do I do? I'm running out of spares. Well, if you put a new Ethernet IP adapter in, that PLC5 can't talk to it anymore. With our gateway, now you can put that in place upgrade just the head on the end of the Flex I.O. rail with a new Ethernet IP system. So as you build this out on each one of the systems, now you've upgraded your panel views, you have upgraded your drives, you have upgraded your Flex I.O., now you can go back somewhere down the road and the only thing you have to upgrade is the PLC5, right? So much less risk, you're only converting one thing at a time, so if something goes wrong, you can go back, right? Whereas if you had to rip and replace the whole system, you'd be reprogramming drives, reprogramming panel views, you know, putting on the Flex IO rail, reprogramming the control logics or compact logics, all in one session. That's a lot of risk. If you can do it, great, but if you don't want to, you don't have to anymore. So with that, we have other PLC migrations where the customer says, you know what, I got a bunch of slick IO out there and I want to leave it out there, but I want to move the processor and get the processor now on Ethernet IP. You know, well, we can go upgrade that to like a compact logics or control logics and have that control all the remote I.O. devices. Whether it's, whether it's I.O. devices, whatever you have out there, you can actually upgrade now the processor. So it's your choice of what piece you want to upgrade first. Another solution, there's a lot of Data Highway Plus out there and customers say, hey, I want to tie that into my control logics, compact logics, and I need those two networks to come together and talk together. Again, this one product can bring those two worlds together so I can sit over there on my Ethernet network, on my PC, drill right down to the processor, upload, download programs, whatever you need to do. So another connectivity solution trying to help bring these old world to the new world and bring all that equipment together. So uh, again, in summary, for your reasons for migrating, you know, um, you want to be able to get there, you want to reduce the risk while you're doing it, and uh, you have some new solutions uh, with some of the products that we have here available for you so that you can change out your system, take that old equipment, and be able to get you moved to this newer technology without having to rip and replace the entire system. So with that, um, if there are any other questions after that, I will be available. We'll go over uh, toward the uh, migration pedestal. We can talk more about it. Uh, we also have solutions not just for Allen Bradley Remote I.O., but uh, I had a customer here earlier that uh, was looking many systems. He goes, oh, I always hate it when I have a uh, going up plant and I'm an integrator and I see a Modicon system or a TI, old TI system or old GE system. And uh, I let him know that we also have solutions where you can do this same approach with those old systems to the new Rockwell system, and we have those available as well. So if uh, there's any questions, follow me, we'll go over there, and I'd be glad to answer all your questions. Thank you for uh, 
It's ending. 